Mr. Carone for 33 years. We met in college. We are part of what they call the Harvard Mafia. I think it's a term that's sort of insulting to the Mafia. <laughs> I mean, at least they have a code of honor. <laughs> but, but I met Pat Marone when he was just 19 years old, and I knew even then this man would become a dynamic leader of men. Why? Because Pat Verone looks like Hitler. <laughs> if you don't believe me, look at the pictures. That's the man. That's the man we're honoring tonight. That's the worst guy who ever lived. <laughs> I don't have this much time. Now, this is not necessarily an insult. I mean, Charlie Chaplin looked like Hitler. So I could have said, Pat Marone looks like Charlie Chaplin. But he doesn't. He looks like Hitler. Of, of course, the similarity to Hitler is purely superficial. They're totally different. For example, Hitler never lost an election. <laughs> You realize you people turned down a Fuhrer and brought in a Kaiser. How can so many Jews vote so German? Now, on the other hand, Pat Marone has won three Emmy Emmys. Hitler, six nominations, no wins. I could call him the Susan Lucci of mustachioed tyrants, but that title goes to Susan Lucci. <laughs> anyway, that's a good gag. Anyway, now I will say something Seth MacFarlane has never said. Enough Hitler jokes. It's, it's true, Hitler appears more on Family Guy than on the History Channel. But we, are, we are here tonight to present Pat Rome with the highest award the Writers Guild has to bestow, the coveted Morgan Cox Award. Now, I don't need to tell you who Morgan Cox was. <laughs> president of the Writers Guild. He served on the Guild board for over a decade. He fought tirelessly to get animation writers like myself into the Guild. Thanks to him, I have health coverage and a pension plan and a subscription to Written By. <laughs> and like you, I read Written By every month on the short walk from the mailbox to the trash can. <laughs> Magazine, if you're aroused by pictures of fat, ugly guys you've never heard of. <laughs> and I am. So, anyway, so I think you know about Pat's record and his credentials. Let me tell you, in all sincerity, about the Pat Perone I know. He's a wonderfully talented writer. He's easy to work with. He is always fun to be around. He's a gifted artist. He's probably the cleverest man I've ever met in my life. Despite all his achievements, he's remained humble and he's always self-effacing. He's a dedicated husband. He's a great father. He goes to church every Sunday, which is more than any of you creeps do. He is the greatest friend a guy or a guild could ever have, and that's why the board voted unanimously to present their highest honor to Patrick Verone.
So I had the choice of asking Mike or Elie Wiesel to present. <laughs> In retrospect, I'm, I'm glad I did. Um, the honorary awards are, are, are the most wonderful part of the show. It's a chance for all the, all the nominees to, to run to the bar, to the bathroom, and it instantly makes me the front runner for the uh, Morgan Cox Award at the Oscars. Very pleased. It is, there's two ironies about my getting this award. The first is that a union of writers would present a, an award for service. Most of that service performed out of a fervent desire to avoid writing. Um, when I first got involved in guild politics 22 years ago, when I was 10 years old, thank you for that smattering of laughter at how old you think I am. Um, we didn't have the kind of distractions that we all do now with eBay, YouTube, iTunes. The only uh, typographical error with the wrong letter capitalized was the little w at the end of WGAW. So that was the, the distraction that I chose to, to get involved with. Um, the other irony is that, is that guild service, people are always calling guild service a thankless uh, thankless job, and I'm about to reel off uh, about 400 thank yous. Um, first to Mike Reese, who not only gave that a profound and serious introduction, uh, but also now has to stand there and, and smile uncomfortably while I gas on for about five minutes, not talking about how much he reminds me of Shylock. Oh. Thank you, Mike. Uh,